Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with women's cross country coach Chris Hoey, football captain Luke Heinsohn, and volleyball player Katie Toom. But first, a quick look back at the weekend in Washington in the athletics. Women's cross country captured its 14th ODAC title, claiming five of the top nine spots at the championship race in Harrisonburg. The men placed fifth at the conference meet. In ODAC soccer quarterfinal action, men's soccer advanced to the semifinals with a 1 0 win over Bridgewater, while Shenandoah upset the women's team 3 2 in double overtime. Field hockey also fell to Shenandoah, dropping its ODAC first round game by a 1 0 score. Football scored a 41 14 road victory over Catholic to remain tied for first in the conference, while volleyball went 1 2 in Atlanta, beating UMass Boston while falling to top 10 teams in Wittenberg and Emory. And men's and women's swimming both picked up home wins against Randolph Macon. I'm joined now by women's cross country coach Chris Hoey. Chris, welcome back to the show. Thank you so much. Great to be here. Your team claimed three of the top five spots, two other finishers in the top ten at the ODAC meet. How well did the Generals run up in Harrisonburg? Oh, they ran great. It was, it was a total team effort. Um, very exciting to have so many people in the top ten. Um, it was just, you know, a really great performance by the Generals. That was your seventh ODAC title in nine seasons at the helm. That's the most cross-country championships that any coach has ever won. So congratulations there. Thank what you. does that say to you about the status of your program? Uh, we've just been really lucky to have the types of individuals come to our program um, that have. And, um, you know, we have a lot of uh, athletes who are willing to put in the time and effort to, you know, be a great cross-country runner. And um, that is, you know the most outstanding reason why um, we've been able to have as many championships as we have. And um, it's just been, you know, a lot of fun along the way to be able to coach um, the types of people that come to our program. It seems like this has been a particularly special season for your team. You've run five races. You finished first in four of them, second to a good Christopher Newport team and the other one in Newport News. Just give us an idea of how the year has gone for WNL. Oh, of course. I mean, any anytime you, you win, meets like we have and um you know i you know it was it was nice to come out and um you know win that preview it wasn't you know our goal uh we've been trying to um work on some race plans um, where we're running together um you know we did the same kind of thing at our home meet um our first you know real challenge i think was at paul short um that was very exciting to you know win to win that meet um, and then to move on to uh, the meet at Christopher Newport, uh, we were just two points out of first there, um, you know, very close, but they again ran as a team and, you know, that's what we were really looking for. And then, um, you know, the ODAC championship was really special. Uh, we've never had um, our scoring five in um, by number nine. So um, that was, you know, very exciting. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to um, the next two meets um, on our schedule. The Generals are currently ranked fourth in the South Southeast region. It's very, very tight up at the top, as we were discussing before we started the show. Sure. What are your expectations for the regional meet in Atlanta next weekend? Yeah, I'm I'm expecting to to do what we've done all season, and that is uh, one you know one of our goals this season was to or is to contend at um, all the meets that we run in, and um, we've done that so far, and. Um, you know, we're not going to change anything um, just because it is the regional meet. We've, uh, you know, we've started out each meet to put ourselves in contention to win the meet, and that's what we're going to continue to do. Chris, thanks for joining us. Best of luck down in Atlanta. Thanks so much, Jeremy. I'm joined now by Luke Heinsohn, senior football captain from Charlottesville. Luke, welcome to the show. Thanks. Thanks for having me. You became WNL's all-time leading rusher in the victory over Catholic on Saturday. It added to a long list of records that you've set over the course of your career. I know you're more focused on the team's performance, but what does it mean to you to have your name in the Washington Lee record book? Mm -hmm. You're definitely right. I'm more focused on the team's performance and our improvement each week. Um, but it does mean a lot, you know, to get into the record books. Um, I think the main thing it means is that anyone that's played here in the past four years, been a part of our program the past four years, um, we'll be able to look back on that, uh, see that in the record books, look back on our seasons and, you know, remember the, you know, the times we had and the good and the bad and the memories we made. Um, also, uh, obviously this school has a very rich history. Um, it's a really special part of this school and um, anytime you get to be a chance or you have a chance to be a part of that, um, you know, it's special. So that's definitely special to me. 
you've got some well-documented connections to Washington Lee and to the athletics program here. I know one of the big reasons why you came to school was the opportunity to play both football and lacrosse. Did you ever envision that the Generals would have this kind of success on the gridiron while you were here? Definitely, yeah, that was a huge part of my decision. Um, it was a pretty clear decision after that. You know, this is the only place that recruited me for football. Um, yeah, I knew from day one that our class was very talented, um, and I knew I wanted to be a part of a championship team. Um, obviously, freshman year didn't go the way we wanted it to go, but somewhere along the way during my sophomore year, uh, I knew that we could be really good. Um, and obviously, with great, great incoming classes each year, and with my class leading it, I think it's a good combination for a championship team. In addition to what you've done on offense this year, you've taken on the place kicking duties this <laughs> season. Tell us about your contributions to special teams. Yeah, it's not so weird to me because I kicked off freshman year um, and I kicked all throughout high school. Um, so it's not so strange and I'm used to it. It does take a little bit more focus, but we just had a need there. Um, we had a shortage of kickers and uh, I begged Coach Abel and he finally gave in. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's, it's fun for me. Washington, Lee, and Hampton, Sydney will be meeting for what is essentially the ODAC championship for the third straight season. Lots of other combinations, depending on who else wins and loses in the conference. Mm -hmm. But talk about the atmosphere, the anticipation for this big of a game on Parents Weekend, and also what do the Generals need to do to win? Oh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Um, like you said, it's going to be a championship feel. Um, yeah, it's really special to have this game mean so much for three years in a row. Um, there's definitely a rivalry there. Um, Everyone knows it, and uh, you know. Last year, I think we had close to 11,000 people at Sydney, and um, with Parents Weekend here, it's a huge weekend, so it's going to be a similar crowd. Um, in terms of football, uh, you know, it's going to take a fight for four quarters, um, execution, uh, a team who can, you know, win the turnover battle, um, make big plays, um, and really fight for four quarters. Uh, that team's going to come out on top. Um, it's going to be a good atmosphere, and I'm excited about it. Luke, thanks for being here. Good luck against the Tigers on Saturday. Thanks. I appreciate it. With me now is Katie Toom, sophomore volleyball player from Lebanon, Oregon. Katie, welcome to the show. Thank you. WNL has battled through, I think, more than its fair share of injuries and illness uh, during the course of the 2012 season. A lot of teams might have written off the year, but uh, the Generals have finished 23-9, and nine, second place in the conference. How have you been able to battle through all of this adversity? Well, we're definitely a very determined team, and we're all really competitive girls. And so we've just we made a goal at the beginning of the season to win a national championship. We definitely have not given up on it. We've pushed through and worked on our mental toughness, and it's helped that our team is so versatile that even when some people have been out, we've been able to mix up the lineup and really play well still. You've just recently returned to the Washington League lineup. What are you expecting to contribute to, to WNL in the ODAC tournament? Well, it's great. Like coming back from an in injury, I'm finally 100% again. I'm really hoping to bring a lot of energy to the court and just like a fresh attitude and like really get everyone excited to play. Washington and Lee is 9-3 in the month of October. All three losses are to top 10 teams in Division Three. How well prepared are the Generals for what you'll see in the postseason? I think we're extremely well prepared. Um, I think Atlanta really helped get us ready for that. We played some really good teams there, and now we know exactly what we need to work on, and we're really focusing hard in practice to get ready and take down some teams in the offseason. What are the keys for Washington and Lee as you compete for an ODAC title this week? I think we really just need to go out and trust our training. We've been working really hard throughout the summer and then throughout this season, really focusing on the things that we need to do to get things done on the court. And so I think if we just go out, trust each other and ourselves and play, we're going to really take it to some teams. Katie, thanks for joining us. Best of luck in the ODAC tournament this week. Thank you. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. First place in the ODAC will be on the line as the football team squares off against Hampton Sydney at Wilson Field on Saturday afternoon. The swimming teams head to Charlotte for a big meet at the Mecklenburg Aquatic Center while riding competes in the Bridgewater Invitational. Wrestling opens its season on Sunday at Virginia Tech's Hokie Open and four ODAC championships will be decided this weekend, including men's soccer and volleyball. Keep track of WNL's progress here at GeneralSports.com. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.